What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a clean and professional website. So guys, as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to be guiding you through the process of making a website using Wix.com. So this video is in sponsorship with Wix and now a lot of you are going to be saying, oh, okay, it's going to be a really biased video. No, it's not. I've been using Wix for the past year or so for my website and I think it's absolutely amazing. For a couple years, I was using Behance and Carbon Made to make my own portfolios, but I wanted to come across more professional, so I decided to make my own website. I tried Weebly, Carbon Made everything I tried literally everything and then I came across Wix I tried Wix and it was just the simplest website creator that I had used only recently did I contact Wix for the sponsorship video you guys know I've had my website for a while now and I did use Wix to create that and a lot of you did ask me questions about how I did this therefore in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple website on Wix and of course it's going to be based on a graphic design portfolio but of course if you aren't a graphic designer you don't have to follow it step by step Step, you can still watch the video it's just going to show you the basics of the website so guys before we do get into the video I know it's gonna be a fairly long one so can you go ahead and leave a like I would definitely really appreciate that if we can try and break 400 likes on this video that would be greatly appreciated so with that being said guys I'm gonna swivel over to my computer and let's start the tutorial so guys I'm over on my computer now and as you can see this is my personal website visualjd.com now if you didn't know already I actually created this site using wix.com so I will leave a link to this website website in the description down below if you would like to see what sort of stuff you can make on their creator as you can see I have a portfolio tab I have a by design contact the basic stuff in a website is all here and Wix will let you create this I won't be showing you guys how to make an identical website to this but I will show you how to make a basic website using the Wix builder so guys once you are on Wix.com all you have to do is go ahead and click the sign in button you can sign into your page or you can sign up a new profile so guys once you are on the sign up page all you have to do is input an email and a password and you will be signed up to a Wix account. Once you guys do sign up for a Wix account it will ask you a simple question. It says what kind of website do you want to create? So for this instance we're going to click designer because we want a portfolio. Once you have clicked between one of the options it will take you to this page where you can choose between the Wix ADI or the Wix editor. So guys I'm going to quickly explain the difference between both of these just so you get an idea of which one you should use. Now on the left hand side we have Wix ADI. So Wix ADI is pretty much much a virtual intelligence for Wix so all you have to do is answer a couple questions and Wix will get all of the answers to your questions and create a website for you and you can go ahead and edit it after it's done however on the right hand side we have a Wix editor so personally I used this option when I was creating my website so if you want something similar I would definitely go with that the Wix editor does take a little more skill and also time to create a website so in this instance we're gonna go ahead and use the Wix ADI so all you have to do is press start with Wix ADI and as you can see it will take you to a separate page where you will answer some questions. The first question being what do you want to create a website for? So of course I'm a graphic design channel so I'm going to choose a graphic designer and once you do that it will give you some subheadings so we can choose graphic designer portfolio and then once you have done that just click the next icon. The next question is does your website need any of the following features? In my opinion we only need get subscribers. Um, I will actually tick take bookings actually because then we can go ahead and get some clients that way. Once you have done that you can press the next icon and it will take you to the next question what is the name of your business so we're going to type in visual arts in this case of course just put your channel name or graphic design name whatever you want and you can press the next icon once again and now it wants to know where is your business located of course this is an internet company so the person doesn't need to know that so all we're going to do is press the skip icon here on the right hand side as you can see now Wix will give you a moment to edit all of your information so for this instance I'm going to go ahead and add a brand new logo just so the website knows what my logo looks like you can also type in an email so I'm going to type in a business email here which clients can contact me through and you can also add social media as you can see here so I'm going to type in youtube.com forward slash visual JD I'm also going to add my Twitter link as well in case anyone needs that so twitter.com forward slash visual J Daniels and once you have filled out all of this information go ahead and just press the next icon one last time and now what Wix has done is collected all of that information okay now what Wix 
Reese has done is collected all of your information and they have all of those answers to create a nice website that will suit your standards. However, first we need to go ahead and finish with the artificial design intelligence. So I'm gonna press start on that. Help me learn your taste. So all you have to do here is press on one of these. Of course, you can change it in the future. So I'm gonna click minimal and press continue. Now I'm going to create your homepage. So let me press the create my homepage button. And of course, Wix will use all of your information to create a website that suits you best. So guys, it took about 10 seconds to create this website. And as you can see here, this definitely does look really nice. So Wix have used my logo here on the left hand side. We've also got visual arts, my company name, and we have some different tabs on the website. If I scroll down, I can see an about me page, which I can of course edit in the future. We also have a couple images, which I can change to my own to be my portfolio. And if I scroll down even more, you can see I have a quote and also a contact me. If I quickly go through the basic settings here that Wix has, we have the page. So this will of course let you navigate between the two pages or however many pages you have. Next to that, we have site design, which will let you change the actual design of your web page. So we can go ahead and choose any of these and it will change the look of it. So if I press on Spark, as you can see, it will change the colors and also the font. Next to that, we have add where you can add a new page or a new site booker, whatever you want to do. And then we have manage bookings to the right of that, where of course you can go ahead and manage all of the bookings that you get through your Wix website, which of course is definitely very good. Another great thing that Wix does is it automatically saves the progress of your website. So if you don't accidentally save it, Wix will already have it covered because they would have saved it automatically. On the right hand side, we have more settings. So we've got the help tab upgrade where you can of course upgrade your plan. And I will be talking about this later on in the video. To the right of that, we have a site which has a load of the settings for the site. So we have my dashboard, connect domain, everything like that is under here. Next to that, we have preview. So if I press this, it will show me what the website does look like if I was to look at it on a normal web page. And then of course we have publish. So if I press that, it will make the website live to the public. So guys, what I'm going to do now is create a basic, like a very basic website for me, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wix editor to do this, which is really simple to use is incredibly simple it's just a case of selecting the text and changing it here on the left hand side so as i said i'm going to finish this website only the home page i'll try and do it as basic and quick as possible and then i will show you guys once i'm done i think i'm in love but i've been feeling otherwise these flutters in my stomach aren't butterflies but cutting knives and not the butter kind and if you listen close when she begins to speak you'll hear a couple hundred sighs in the collective shut of eyes letters linger on her lips like lullabies i think i've drowned a couple times inside her opal colored eyes she can do something Something as simple as sit down with the grace of Olympic dives, a perfect 10 photo shutter finish on her cocoa butter thighs. So guys, as you can see right here, this is a very, very basic website that I did create using Wix. And in my opinion, it does look really good. This took me about five minutes to create. So you can definitely get the idea of if you spend a lot of time to create a website, it will definitely, definitely look really good. So here at the top, we have my logo, visual arts, of course, and a nice GIF playing in the background of design. And then if I scroll down even even more we have a welcome message so this is just small information about me and then if I scroll down even more we have some of my headers and if you actually click this it will take you to a page where you can view the header in higher quality if I keep scrolling you can see here I have a variety of different headers I just chose random ones but you can get the idea of what it will look like if I scroll down even more we have a nice quote here so of course this is just a random one here Bob Ross um, but I actually just made up that quote but you definitely do get the idea as I said before of what it will look like look like and then below that we have the contact information which people can fill in if they would like to contact you and then below that we have a subscribe to the website icon in my opinion the free wix builder is absolutely amazing you can get a great website out of it the only two problems are number one the domain and also number two the wix advertisements now the only way to get rid of this is by purchasing a premium plan now wix do great deals on their premium plans i've been using their premium plans for ages now because in my opinion it looks so much more professional if you have your own domain and you don't have any Wix advertisements because if you do have those it sort of gets rid of the professional aspect of your website so if you do want to upgrade your Wix and get the same package as I do all you have to do is go to where it says upgrade and press compare plans and it will take you to a separate website where you can look at all of the plans so these plans do vary in price as you can see on the screen right now from 568 all the way up to 24.95 now of course you guys get the idea that the more you pay, the better stuff you will be getting. Now we have the connect domain option, which is just a simple connect domain. So if you wanna go ahead and buy a domain on Go 
GoDaddy, you can connect it to your Wix site. The only problem with this 568 plan is it doesn't remove all of the Wix advertisements, which is what we want. So if we go to the combo one here, you can see it does remove the Wix ads and it also lets you do a lot of other stuff as well. Over here, you can see you get a one year free domain, which is another great offer if you do go with the combo plan. To the left of that, we have unlimited, which of course will give you even more stuff. And this is the most popular option. And then after that, we have the e-commerce and also the VIP, which of course will give you even more stuff than that. Now, in my opinion, if you are just creating a basic portfolio website, the best two options I would go with is either unlimited or combo, depending on how much money you have. However, you can keep the free Wix plan if you want. It will just be wix.com forward slash my site. So it will be wix.com forward slash visual JD or whatever you call your site. And if you do want to remove that and you want to connect a domain and you want to get rid of the Wix adverts, then definitely go for one of the premium plans. So guys, that is it for the video. If you want to go ahead and use Wix, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. I highly do recommend it. As I said, this is not a biased video because I have been using Wix for over a year now to create my website. And in my opinion, they are the best website builder just because of how simple the website is to use and also how quick you can get it done. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. As I said, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If we can try and break 400 likes on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. As I said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace.